Soviet yes, St. Helena, ready to depart till we dock to proceed inbound. Uh, if you gave us traffic and clearance, please. When I was a kid, I watched these documentaries from the French biologist Jacques Cousteau. Jacques Cousteau made me dream because he had a boat. He had the Calypso. My dream would be that this ship becomes the Calypso of the 21st century. My hope is that we can make this ship the base for a huge exploration, for a huge adventure. Welcome to the Santa Elena. Welcome to what I think will be the biggest adventure of our time. A new concept of racing that will take electric SUV cars to the most remote corners in the planet. We have this ship, we have the locations that we want to go, we have to start exploring the world, we have to find the teams, the drivers, everything. We have to build everything again from scratch. I'm a little bit of a dreamer and a little bit of an adventurer. And I thought, how can we bring this all together in a compelling way? And I think motorsports can help showcase these environments and some of the challenges we face. I see this as a huge opportunity to build a new narrative. We need to find ways in which we can inspire people to think differently. For me, I see this, especially this space, the boat, which will start out as a, as a space of possibility. I want to make sure that we can design the vessel in a way that is fully sustainable, from the paints we use, the carpets we install. We want to be looking at water waste, energy. We want to showcase technologies on here. I want it to be that place where people come and leave inspired, but at the same time, we have to make sure that when we are going to these environments that we're not just sitting there racing you know, carelessly and, and we have to make sure that we involve communities, that we involve different cultures, ethnicities. The people in the places that we go are going to help nurture and help their communities with electric, solar, clean power or whatever they need. So it's not just about racing. And then like the Calypso, this is part of the narrative. This boat, the people working on this boat, the people living on this boat, the series is about people. It's, it's not about only the race. And with David, we're gonna take Jill and Alejandro's vision and make it have integrity, keep it sustainable, and we'll make some great entertaining content that hopefully will blow all your minds. We're gonna showcase the huge challenges that our planet faces. And we're gonna do it the way we know, which is with the race. I think this is going to be the most extreme form of motorsports. Short races in Dakar style, fully electric cars in extreme locations around the globe. Well, it's not only providing great motorsport entertainment, but it's also going to raise awareness for climate change. Jill and Alejandro basically asked the question of could we build a global race series in extreme environments? And the moment they shared that idea and that vision with each other, the, the adventure has begun. So the adventure is already underway. We are in a race for nature. The planet's fine, it's going to continue. Um, doing what it's done for billions of years. You know, it's just our ability to live on this planet that is teetering in the balance. I think the best words have been told by uh, Fisher Stevens, who said uh, it's totally crazy, but you have to be crazy to change things. Fascinating. The first thing that my mind was adventure. It's going to be an adventure. The, the format, head-to-head -head format, I think it works very, very well. The, the length of the race is nice and short, punchy as well. So you know, an old petrol head like me, I'll be excited to watch it as well. All electric SUVs in five of the world's most extreme environments. Welcome to Extreme E.